What's up everyone? So today we will be making the moon in blender and then we will break blender with the moon. I mean it's really big. So before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me lots and lots of money. We will just delete all of these we don't need them. So we will add a sphere to our scene which is UV sphere. Well it doesn't matter how many segments it has because we will adjust that later. So first of all let's just shade smooth it. Now first thing we have to do is we have to know what is the actual size of a moon so as you can see right here the actual size of the moon is in kilometer which is 1740 well we can't use this unit because you know what it will break blender which we can't have because i have to make this tutorial selecting this sphere and press n and change the dimensions and enter the value which i saw on the internet and just press m after it which is in meters because we can't use kilometers which is way more and enter and it has scale gigantically now first thing we have to do is we can see it properly if we zoom out more for that we have to go to the view here and change the end to 5000 and enter now we can zoom out more and more and clip start to 10 because we don't want to focus on close-up shots so it doesn't matter where the clipping start now that we have this sphere what would be the next step it would be to get textures for our moon and we are going to steal them from nasa so to get the texture we will go i'll just say nasa moon texture and the first site will come here which is cgi moon kit and click on it which will take you to the site where it has color as well as displacement so we want to download is the options and 8k is enough if your system can handle more you can go up to this resolution i don't know what resolution is this but it's pretty high same for the displacement you can use up to 5k or you can use 2k whichever feels fit for you now just download them and head back to blender now let's just divide the section let's just move it here and change it to shader editor selecting our sphere click new and new texture is here just shift a and add image texture now let's just connect this image texture to the base color and we have to open our image texture which we have downloaded which is the color poles and open image let's just change our view to the material preview for now we will see the render one later and our moon is right here what we can use this just press ctrl t for right now and i don't think so there's any distortion or such thing yeah that would do now it looks really bland i mean we want those details nice details you saw in the render so how do we bring that for that let's just duplicate this one and in this one we'll change use the displacement image texture and connect it with our displacement but to connect we will add another node which is displacement connect displacement to displacement and our image texture right here color to the height I just organize it properly this is right now the fake displacement we can see it properly first let's just set up our scene properly so we can see the render view now let's add a light to our scene light sun move it up selecting this one and let's just disable the x y f floor go to the wall scene set the strength to zero for now so that we can see our moon properly and set the mid levels to zero scale to 0 0.1 for now and lastly what we have to do is change our render engine to cycles and gpu compute now we don't see those displacement anymore but we saw in the beginning of the video so why that is not happening is because the displacement texture map is really really big and it contains a lot of details and also make sure that our mapping is connected to this as well so it's properly placed on it all right so our displacement has so many details but our geometry of our object is very 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 less it's like 10,000 times less so we have to add more geometry by applying subdivision subsurface modifier let's set this for five for right now i know it's very high but just, let's just set it for now after that go to the materials and in the settings let's just change the bump only to displacement and bump so it's like it's a very spiky spiky which we don't like now what we have to do is 
selecting our sphere and change the srgb to raw first of all and also control a and apply scale now there's no details as such that is because our scale is set to very very low set it to one for now and you can see those details again you can change the details if you want you can set it to 0.7 and such if you like you don't want those details that much but our moon is starting to look better and better now one thing you will notice is it's really shiny and moon is not that shiny so let's just increase the roughness to 0.8 and that looks more decent now because i guess moon has a lot more sand that's time we add a camera to our scene and the problem also comes with the camera so let's just control alt and zero to set our camera to current angle and view so you can see our planet it's moving really slow now if we go out a lot we can't see our whole planet if you want like just a part of a planet short of the planet you can take that but if you want the full frame what will happen is you will not be able to see the moon anymore and that is because for the clipping of the camera we have to set it to 5000 as well in the camera object properties so that you can see the full moon if you even if you zoom out still you can see it almost you are able to cover it whole you have to adjust it accordingly now we have a moon but the surrounding is very weird because it's all black i mean there at least there are some few stars if we see in space so for that we'll add a hdri to our scene just just switch to world we don't have to work in here but there's a plugin called blender kit and there's an option for find hdri and just search space and you will see many hdris we can use i will use this night sky let's just click on it and original and okay it will add it to our scene well we don't want clouds around our moon because that is really weird let's just adjust the strength for now 0.1 i guess would be good and let's just rotate it around so we get the proper result so it looks like that our moon is in space not in a planet that looks better now the biggest problem is if you try to render it go to the render and image for some you might face an issue called gpu render ran out of memory for some of you you might face that problem but if you don't it's good but to tackle that problem i will have a solution if you are not able to render the scene because it's a very giant planet and it might break your system so to fix that you have to select your moon again go to the modifiers and here you will see an option called adaptive subdivision so to enable that we have to go to the render again and change the supported to experimental wait up for a few minutes head back to the modifiers and check the adaptive subdivision and let the dicing scale be one it will update the mesh wait for a few seconds now let's just render it let's render image so the render has started with the adaptive subdivision and it's really 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 slow right now we can make it faster by adjusting the dicing scale so for now let's just make it four and then again render the image as i have changed the dicing scale to four the render speed has increased this is only advised if you are getting really slow renders and some of you you are not able to render because it will give you fast render took about 53 seconds to enter one frame how good is that let's try it now you might lose details if you try to increase the dicing scale all right this one took about 49 seconds which is about four seconds less so you can adjust it accordingly we can also do one more thing with to improve the performance go to the render in the performance enable this use compact vvvh that will also help in increasing your render speed as you guys saw in my render there was a spacecraft rotating around the moon so it was just a simple scene and this aircraft was going to be chandrayaan 3 but i only could find a chandrayaan 2 model so i used that for this video 
Well, I really wanted to use Chandrayaan 3 for its successful landing on the moon, but I couldn't. So, to find that model, I had just searched Chandrayaan 2 or maybe 3 model, and then it took me to the site which is called Sketchfab. I can't see it here. Then this is Sketchfab. The 3D Chandrayaan 3 model is also available, but we have to request access to the maker of this one. So, I took the liberty to download the Chandrayaan 2 model and just search the same here and I took this one this one is free to use but just make sure to give credits to the person who made this which is Dash Tigo I've given him the credits in the description as well so he doesn't don't just sue me alright so I used his model it was really good let's just head back to the blender after downloading this 3d model and which is the FPX one and make sure to give him the credit alright now that we are here, I will add a curve to see in this circle. We can't see our circle. Let's go to the top view and scale our circle as much as we can. There we go. Now we can see our circle. Just rotate it so we can get the perfect angle from where we want our spaceship to appear like that. That would be good enough. Just scale it even more so you can see it on the camera all right now the thing which is left to do is just add our spaceship right here go to the file import and click on the fpx and then import our shindayan 2 model import fpx top you move it out it's very 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 small all right first thing we gotta do is let's just delete the rotation of our circle because that will create an issue for us later now using our chandrayaan orbiter let's set it to right here and bring it down somewhere like that let's just focus on it the near clipping is affecting our chandrayaan align it to our curve zoom in the clipping has started so just view and change the start to 0.1 again now let's just join in our spaceship is right here selecting this select the curve Control p let's just parent it selecting this our circle to go to data in the path animation first of all let's just follow it follow the path change the evaluation okay now it is going on the path rotate it on the y-axis so it goes in a proper direction now we just have to make sure it is viewing in our camera Select the curve, change the evaluation so that it appears. There it is. Adjust the scale of your curve so that it is visible through the camera. And there it is. Now you can just animate using the evaluation time. So your Chandrayaan is moving around. So that is all for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And for animating, if you really want to know, just what you have to do is just select the curve, set the evaluation time, press I on it, keyframe will appear here. Go ahead in the time, just increase it by pressing shift so it doesn't go that fast. And just again press I and you're done. You will get a little slow animation right there. You can just adjust it and you can get some slow animation even slower you can go more slower so that would be all for this tutorial i guess if you like this tutorial loved it you can just give a thumbs up subscribe and also give all of your money so thanks guys for watching this tutorial and have a nice day